Me again, <clears throat> excuse me, thank uh, Whip Clark and Chairman Aguilar for their tremendous leadership in holding uh, the caucus together throughout this entire process as we've been battling extreme mega Republicans and their reckless effort to try to dramatically cut services for everyday Americans or shut down the government. And we were able to stop that from happening. And House Democrats stood together in that regard. And I thank Catherine and Pete for their tremendous leadership. Questions? Are you concerned about the accusation that Congressman Jamal Bowman is accused of pulling a fire alarm in a congressional office building? And what are the next steps here? I haven't seen the video. Until I see the video, I'll have no further comment. Uh, are, do you believe that now that we've reached this point where the speaker was willing to buck against the conservative wing of his party, that that will then guide the appropriations process. And you only have 45 days now to get all 12 of these bills passed. Do you believe that you're now in a space where those real negotiations can happen? Or are we going to go through this process all over again 45 days from now? From the very beginning of this Congress, House Democrats have made clear that we are ready, willing, and able to find common ground with our Republican colleagues whenever and wherever possible to advance the needs of the American people. But we will also, at the same time, continue to combat Republican extremism whenever necessary. Over the next 45 days, we're going to have to work together in a collaborative fashion to make sure that we avoid another government shutdown drama, that the extreme MAGA Republicans will continue to try to visit upon the American people, and at the same time, make sure that we put the national security needs of the American people ahead of the extreme MAGA Republican pro-Putin caucus. Sooner rather than later, it's important in order to lift up the national security needs of the American people and ensure that America's place in the free world will continue. And we've experienced great leadership from President Biden in that regard. As Catherine Clark mentioned, we need to address the security situation in Ukraine to ensure that the Ukrainian people can continue to fight bravely and courageously and defeat Vladimir Putin and Russian aggression. It's important for democracy. It's important for the principle of freedom. It's important for truth. It's important for NATO. And the extreme MAGA Republicans will have an opportunity over the next few days to put the American people and our national security interests first and the extreme MAGA Republican pro-Putin caucus last. Leader Jeffries, uh, quick question here, Garcia with The Independent. You, um, this is the second time that Democrats have had to bail out Speaker McCarthy and House Republicans on, uh, on a spending thing, first with the debt limit and now with this. Uh, how confident are you that in the future you can negotiate in good faith with Speaker McCarthy and the Republican conference uh, when it comes to uh, now that these next 45 days you have to get, you have to get these spending bills across the finish line? Well, House Democrats are going to continue to put the needs of the American people first and to work in a bipartisan way with our colleagues in the Senate as well as with President Biden. And it's our hope uh, that the traditional Republicans will finally take their party back from the extremists who have hijacked this Congress from the very beginning of this new Republican majority. And time and time and time again, House Democrats have had to come to the rescue to push back against the extremists and to ensure that we're doing the right thing for the American people. And that is what we'll continue to do.